As a wannabe influencer, there is one thought that crosses my mind every single day. How do I reach these kids? And I think I have found the solution. I have decided to become a famous muser on Musical.ly. Or now that it's been renamed to TikTok, I suppose a famous talker? A famous talkie? That's funny if you're Dutch. It's an insult. So in just a few days of time, I'm going to be analyzing what makes a famous muser a famous muser. I'm gonna be trying out all of these things. I'm gonna try and find the unique thing to do on Musical.ly. And I'm even gonna put some paid advertisement behind the whole thing. Are you ready to become famous? Post on the magic musically hours between 11 a.m. and 5 p.m. That's practically the whole day. <laughs> So let's check out the app. All right, girl dressed up as Pennywise the Clown. Guy doing whatever that was. I'm not sure. All right, a girl is stepping into a Oh, okay, gotta say that's kind of cool. Again, not entirely sure. Guy on the phone. Underage girl in a towel, that's a bit weird. Okay, I gotta say that's pretty cool. That is kind of cool. Upon researching the app, I was greeted by a bunch of useless information. Varying from tips like make good videos to stay consistent to be authentic. Who would have ever thought? But upon researching the app and looking at its Top users, I have narrowed down all the types of content that are found on the app itself, which are lip syncing to music, lip syncing to movie scenes, dancing to songs, performing your own original songs, comedy, which is either lip syncing or your own original comedy, and vlogging. Something that shouldn't be too much of a problem for me. It was time to look at my own previously made Musical.ly videos. My first couple of posts were posts of me just staring into the camera doing absolutely nothing, and weirdly enough, they didn't perform that well. Then, after I switched over on Reddit, random videos where I was just yelling into the camera, weirdly enough, they didn't perform that well either. But the moment I started posting little snippets of my videos, or even my entire YouTube videos in vertical form, suddenly they took off. But what do these Musical.ly stars have in common? Hmm, mm-hmm, yes, all right, uh-huh, yes. And then suddenly, I got it. They're all weirdly sexualized for being so young. I know what I gotta do. When I think about the way we used to be, I've decided to make all videos. I'm gonna show you some of the videos that I've made so far. The ones that won't get me in trouble with copyright and everything. Welcome to Jurassic Park. All right, let me just put on a new roll of toilet paper. Don't you dare. What? I'll show you. There we go. That is how you hang a new toilet roll. So I have a friend called Jasper Lust. And I always, like, I made it my, my, my duty to tell everyone that his middle name is Emmanuel. Alexa, who is Jasper Lust? Jasper Lust is a YouTuber whose middle name is Emmanuel and is friends with cooler and more popular YouTuber Quentin Hyde. <laughs> Don't panic. There's absolutely nothing to worry about. I want to be a wizard. And I will try not to bite and infect you because... But I saved the best thing for last. You and I, we're always on the edge. We fight and make love at the same time. Would you break up just because I told you what I did last night? I recall the times you said you're sorry. But still, I'm not sure if you told lies. But I don't care, it's all forgotten now. We're holy when we touch anyhow. Give me a chance to make it right Just let me touch you like the first time We don't need answers to survive Just let us keep on with the black lights With the black lights Hanging up to see if you would call me 
My Jurassic Park video already has a hundred views and it's been out for what? How long? Shut up for a second. Well, apparently you can't see that, but it's it's not been long. Why can't you see that? That's weird. That's weird, right? So there's this trending hashtag called make every second count, which is essentially just people doing cool things. I could just edit something like that. Let's go. So I've been told that my uh, my video that I made, like the Harry Potter one, is on the For You page and it's getting like genuine views. Like it already has 120 and it's been half an hour since it's posted. Only thing is, and that's kind of the problem, I have absolutely no clue what that means. <laughs> hmm. How to be on the For You page on Musical.ly. If you didn't know what the For You page is, it's pretty much just where you are trending on Musical.ly. What? Trending on Musical.ly? Huh. I mean, yeah, I, I knew what I was doing, remember? Huh. Okay, okay, okay. So I click on my other video, all right? One of the earlier ones where I was lip syncing something and way too young girls are posting hard eye emojis and people are telling me that that one is on the For You page as well. So I currently have multiple videos that are trending and I have no clue what I'm doing. <laughs> I wish YouTube was this easy. <laughs> It's currently evening and I'm about to go to bed. Every single video that I posted today is well over a hundred views. I don't know why, but there is something I, I, I gotta admit to you. There is a reason why I'm doing this. And it's not just out of curiosity or wanting to reach out to people on Musical.ly, TikTok, whatever you wanna call it. <sighs> you see, my youngest sister has more followers than I. When I started this experiment out, I had 39 followers and currently I have only 40, where she has 60. I exceed on every social media platform between all the people in my family and I will not let her have more followers than I. <laughs> all right, so I've made this ad. I'm gonna put that on Instagram stories paid advertisement.
gonna narrow down the whole target audience and everything. I'm gonna see if I can drive a lot of traffic from there so I can finally beat my sister. It's a couple days later now, I... The advertisement completely failed. After like a good couple of days, I only got 19 clicks. Maybe, maybe it was just a bad ad. <laughs> I think having less followers than other people makes me physically sick. It's a serious problem, but I guess uh, my sister wins this one, but not the war. So what did we actually learn about this? Essentially, using any song or track or piece of whatever is on there, paired with just a right couple of hashtags is gonna get you at least a couple of hundred views, especially paired with more pieces of content that are all driving traffic from different like hashtags and stuff. Even like original pieces of content, like the vlogs, things that don't even have any hashtags will get traffic because of the traffic you get from all of the other posts that you have. So essentially, the more music tracks or, or film tracks or whatever's on there you use, Use, the more traffic you're going to get to your posts. The only thing is to me that is it's just not something that I enjoy doing just like that. I personally feel like I have to add something of value from myself, something that really makes the whole thing me. Like when I made the whole like music video that I put a little hashtag too much effort into. I really think that when you take the existing content on there and you make it really unique or special or just giving an overall wow thing, paired with you know using it more than just a couple of days, it's really what's gonna make you thrive on there if that's what you want. That sure was an adventure, wasn't it? How do you feel about knowing that I am now a famous muser, m tick talker? If you are curious about the time that my subscribers didn't want to share an inside joke so I catfished them, you can click right here or the link in the description. I post a video where I put a little too much effort into a crazy idea that I have every single Wednesday to try and entertain you and build an awesome community here online. But overall, I really hope you enjoyed this video and would love to see you next time.